Hello everybody, how you guys are doing? Welcome to a new video. So Gaumo sent me a new tablet and it's the PD1 TT0 and today I'll be reviewing them with you. Let's go and I know what you're thinking. Why is the box empty? I know my cat's just confused as you are. But that's because I actually experiment and tried this tablet for a week before I actually came and recorded a review for you guys. Here it is the tablet. Like I said, it's the Galmon Pen Display PD1 TT0 and it comes with a terra red color. And I'll be talking a little bit about details and specifications while I'll show you what comes with in the box in the video. It comes with basic cables and I'll be showing here. The pen is battery free, so do not worry about it. The display is 11.6 inches, so it's a really good work area. And for you to use this tablet on an Android device, you will need a Type-C to Type-C cable. If you have one on your home, then great, you're ready to go. But they also sell it on their pages, so don't worry about it, if you need it, just buy it all together. And what I was really happy to find out is that it comes with this foldable support, which helps you with a better angle to ease the tension on your wrist. Trust me, it is useful, you just need to stick it on the back of the tablet and fold on a triangle shape and it's just easy as that. And if you want a more steady support or more angle variations, you can purchase a different type of support they have on their website as well. But personally, I've been enjoying using this one. And it also helps to protect the screen when you put the tablet on your backpack, on your purse. So it's just perfect for a more mobile setup indeed. Okay, now let's talk about how to set it up for your Android device. As you can see, the Galmon tablet comes with three ports, two Type-C ones and one HDMI port. But for the Android connection, you will only be using the Type-C ones. So, take the Type-C cable and connect one side to the Galmon tablet and one side to your Android device. And I do recommend that you use a charger on the other Type-C port of the Galmon tablet because depending on how charged your Android device is, it may not turn on. So putting a charger on the Galmon tablet is actually the energy source as just as your Android phone is. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is put one cable to both devices and it's ready to use. It's just plug and play. Easy as that. But yeah, so uh, since it's plug and play, I do think you have a downside. But I'll be talking that really soon. Just want to say that uh, in this week I was trying the tablet, I only used the Clip Studio Paint. But if you guys would like to see me try new apps or other programs, please leave it at the comments because I will be making a part 2 video. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, please just leave there and I'll be checking them. But yeah, about the plug and play. So usually tablets come with drivers which you install on Windows, but since it's Android connection, it doesn't come with any. So it does make the lines a little less pressure sensitive. But in my opinion personally, I didn't thought that as a problem because I do tend to have uneven pressured lines. So it does help me to get less pain on my wrist trying to get a perfect straight line. But it depends on how you like it. But for me, it's fine. Just, just fine. As you can see here, I'm testing some lines to see how it goes. So you guys can have a little bit of an idea how, how it is. But since I only tried it on Clip Studio, I'm not sure if it's a Clip Studio thing or some setting I might change. I'm not sure if you know it. Leave in the comments too, please. But I do think it's just the perfect amount of pressure for my line work. I do think it's very satisfying. The anti-glare film that comes with it gives kind of a paper feeling, so it does make some comfortable noise if you're a person with... <laughs> if you're like me, you will like the sound. It's very comfortable <laughs> to work with and very satisfying as well. So yeah, just doing a little sketch here to show you guys how the pen works. One thing that I really enjoy was how calibrated it was. I was afraid because no drivers, no calibration too. I was afraid it was gonna be really wonky and out of place, but it was just all right, no problems at all. And the pen was so much more comfortable to use than the one that comes with my Samsung tab. So yes, it was just the perfect tool I was needing for my mobile work. So this week I worked on some Five Nights at Freddy TVs. So I made Freddy and I'm now doing Roxy with this tablet. And my experience has been great so far. I noticed that it helps so much my workflow when I'm not at home. But drawing on PC and drawing on mobile have different timing things. Like I work so much faster on PC than on mobile. And with this tablet I did notice that my workflow was 
much more smooth like it really made me feel like i was at the home drawing i don't know if you guys are like that maybe i'm just weird but i don't know guys i just feel it just feels right so yeah last point i like to give on this video is that the colors are really on point i compare it to my samsung tab and the colors were pretty similar when i put it on computer pretty similar no drivers are needed in fact and i was so amazed by that i'm so happy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video like i said if you have any suggestions please leave it at the comments and i'll be checking them and anyway again thank you Galmo, for the opportunity and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye